So today I'm showing you how to do a .fbx file and transfer it into VRChat. So this is the model I'm going to be working with. And there she is. Everything's on there, all the colors, all the textures and all that. So we're going to work with her right now. And we're going to go start with Unity. A new one. Grow our Gouda. So I always like to start with uh, doing the SDK first because I want to make sure that it downloads it correctly because there have been times where it just doesn't do it right. So I'm beginning with that. Now the SDK works because all three tab or four tabs are here because sometimes I've gotten either one tab or it just doesn't download right. So it works. Now for the SDK, as you saw, you did custom package, but for the FBX file, you're not going to do this. You're going to do import new assets. So it's a little different. And you look for the file. Here it is. This is the FBX model. Okay, so the automatic way of doing it, drag all uh, textures here, go for humanoid, and you drag it over here. Click apply, and it should automatically do it. Now, sometimes the automatic way won't work, so I'm gonna, the next step would be the manual way. Now there she is, and the first thing you'll notice is I'm gonna drag her here, and you'll see that she has no colors. All the textures are gone. Let me zoom in. There she is, and uh, let me start by unpacking. And this is gonna be the tedious part. Because one, her scale is, she's extra tiny, even though it says 111, which is normally correct. I'm going to switch it to 5, because she's really tiny. At least this specific model. Every model is different. Not necessarily you're going to be using these numbers, so you're going to have to pretty much check it out. Like, once you download it to VRChat, you could always use the scale and scale it to whatever. But since I already know what her scale is, I'm going to leave it at that. Whenever you're doing any modifications, make sure you highlight this. And right now, I'm going to add the descriptor. Let me look for it. And it's right here, the VR chat descriptor. Now this, <clears throat> what it is, is the lens to where your eyes, what you see through the character. So. Again, this is going to be different for every every avatar. You're going to have to... There, there, there it is. You see how it's all the way up here? <clears throat> you want this. This is your lens through the game and you want it to be here. So pretty much play around the coordinates here, here and here. And based on that, it changes. See? It goes lower and lower. And let me do it to Let me do it to one. See? <clears throat> Okay, so you want it, uh, let me see, more ideally would be right up here. I'll continue working on that, but right now I'm just going to make this quick. I'm just going to make this a quick tutorial. Next we're going to work with the textures. So usually uh, this file, when I zipped it, it has all of the textures. Her clothes, body, eyes, face, everything. So you're going to highlight this and drag it right here. And it should show up. And there it is. So notice that it's going to be in the model assets and here it is. Now it's time to start with the materials. You're going to right click, create, and then you want material. And we're going to name this close. And what you're going to do is you're going to match them. Here's the clothes and here's the textures and what you're going to do, you're going to click on the sphere, which is the material, drag this to the albedo right here. Now you drag this to the clothes and there it is. So you want to pretty much match. You could use uh, the preview viewer as a reference so you kind of get an idea of what's supposed to look like in case you don't know. And that's what you're going to pretty much be doing over and over again. You're going to, again, right click, create materials, and uh, let's do the tail. You're going to drag this, hold and drag, and now it's the tail. And there he is. 
Make sure you match them correctly because you don't want to accidentally put the body where the clothes is at. So you want to put the body where the body is at. Alright, now let's go for the face. It's already been done. There she is. Wait a minute, forgot her hat. That's part of the clothes. What else? Her shoes is actually part of the clothes, so... It would all... You could use multiple uh, materials for different parts of the clothes and it'll work. Now this next part is important. So usually I'm telling you to click on this all the time when you're modifying. But this next part, you have to go to the model. Uh, right here. And you want to pull up the screen. The model rig animation materials. Rig. This is the important part because she's not going to be able to do anything. She's, she's an object and there's going to be no movements, nothing. So you're going to have to change that. I mean, she's not going to be able to move. She's like a lamp. She's going to walk around the game exactly the way you see her and you don't want that. Here it is. Here it is. All right. So now it appeared humanoid. You have to click humanoid. That's important and apply. Once you do that, she could finally move her fingers, her face, her... She's like a human now. She walk around and all that. And that's pretty much it. You're pretty much ready for... to upload her. So next we're gonna go to the control panel and we're gonna upload her to VRChat. So... I'll to fix all this. Publish. After some time, the screen may change, so just in case it looks kind of weird, just scale it to where you want to see it. Anyways, and click this button to upload it, and there you go. Okay, and then you should be getting this screen. Click OK and go back in game. Now, before I enter VR chat, there's a ton of other things you could do. Like, for example, let's say you go to her model and you want to take out her hood. Click on hood, her little hoodie, and you take it off. See, there you go. You could walk around without it. And also the clothing, you could actually take this off. She's wearing a shirt and I think some shorts. I don't remember, but that's pretty much what you can do. There's so much also making her talk and all that, but I don't want to get into that because it's going to make this video way too long. So let's check her out, see if she works. And there we go. We're in full body. You can move your legs. You can move pretty much anything. You can move your fingers. I want to give a shout out to Austria because she's the one who uploaded the model and I'll be putting the link in the description. That's pretty much it. Until next time, see you. All right, this has been Admin Flame. Comment, like, and don't forget to bust that subscribe button. So until next time. All right, so right now I'm going to uh, show you a bonus information. All right, so sometimes some models will clip through, like let's say the shirt or the body will clip through the, the model when you move around in VR. So sometimes you could eliminate parts of the bodies, but this one, I have no idea. I really haven't, uh, the whole body is together, so you can't really do it. Uh, I, at least I have no idea. So the, the most hacky way, <laughs> at least the, the one I figured it out, is remember the textures we were talking about this is the textures that i use but i made myself i copied it and what i did is you could use whatever program you want i used the uh, here here it is i made a copy of it and i use gimp because it's free so it's up to you what program you want but this is what you want to do so this is the body and you're pretty much uh you're gonna color all this into alpha which is transparency that's pretty much the <laughs> in order so the body won't clip through the models again each model is different maybe you don't have to do this but <laughs> this is the most hacky way all right anyways you save it and it's the same thing you just go here file that you made you drag it material now here we're going to do something a little bit different because it's not gonna it's not gonna render it uh well actually let me show you it's not gonna it's actually not gonna render the transparency here's the new material I'm gonna call it alpha. 
And if you put it here, you see how it turns black? It's not going to work. All right. So you need to go uh, enable the transparency. So I could, you drag it. And there you go. I did it very quickly, but you could actually, I'm only eliminating the parts that it glitches through. Uh, depending on the model you use, uh, different parts will glitch through or will not. But anyways, here it is. Just in case you have issues. <laughs> uh, I don't know the real right way to do it, but uh, whatever. It works.